Hello, philatelists. During COVID, somebody got to Stamp X and somebody's wearing a West Pex t-shirt. Royal Agricultural Hall, built in the 1850s or thereabouts. And this is the check-in booth. This is the second floor where all of the major dealers are located, including Stanley Gibbons and a lot of auction houses. Oh, did they have some gorgeous material. As you can see, there's just gobs and gobs of incredible stuff. I wish I could have taken more photos. Collections, individual, Bear was there. Didn't get an image of Stanley Gibbons, <laughs> they were mobbed. These are the exhibits. I love the alcoves. They could put so much material into such a limited space. And here's some of the material. Love that stamp. Interesting, parcel post. Only Zep cover I saw in the exhibit. And eight, uh, 1682? Irish World, these are great. It was a wonderful exhibit. This one, as an EFO collector, I really want that one. I've never seen an example like that before. That's just amazing. This is from the Fresno Bicycle Postal Club or organization because there was a postal strike. I knew about the San Francisco and the San Jose one, but not the Fresno one. Really amazing. Loved it. San Francisco, 1906 earthquake. Free postage. Try doing that today. Beautiful, amazing, expensive. These are from the dealers. You want to wallpaper your house with something gorgeous? How much money do you have? This was from the Second World War. These are the third floor. And as a collector of musical instrument material, this one really amazed me. It's dated probably about 1853. Somebody selling a cello. That's obscenely early. Here's something very interesting. These are art pieces done by one of the dealer's wife. And talking about something very unusual, this is the costume mistress for the Queen of England. He did all of this. It's incredible. A little gaudy, but really incredible. And wait for it. Just wait for it. Yes, that's Queen Elizabeth done in buttons. You're not going to see another one of those. Now we're on to the British Library because they've got a major permanent philatelic exhibit. Notice all those drawers. As somebody who really, really likes beautiful exhibits, Hawaii, Helgoland, it just went on and on and on. And I used to collect Helgoland stamps, so I spent a little too much time on this, but they were so beautifully mounted. And now we end with a spider press, the machine that was used to print most of the stamps at that time. England saying goodbye to me at Heathrow Airport. Had to say thank you very much, England. It was wonderful. <laughs>